Hi everyone, I'm Brian Ewell, the Master Superintendent at Uplands Golf Club. This morning we're on the first hole here and this has been quite a soft, wet winter. For the past three months we've had over 180 millimeters of rainfall as well as we've had warm conditions and we don't normally get the, the drying that we get from the cold weather. And in time we start to see water puddle up. Many members don't see the golf course after a 20 millimeter rain event. I took a picture from the patio shooting down the first fairway and you can see the amount of puddles that sets up on our first fairway. So you get these types of rain events that consistently deposit into these puddle areas and we start to get some soft areas that start to show up. I'll use a hole changer here. And you can see on the profile that I have here, We've got very, very heavy soils, and then we've got this layer on top that comes off, and then this layer will start to hold water. So there's a few things that are going on with this fairway here. One of the first things that we did is we sent out soil profiles to a lab called ISTRIC, International Sports Turf Research Center, and they did a profile of what's actually happening with this soil. It provides a lot of information in the report from organic matter levels and the different levels of soil as well as water holding capacity. But as you can see in the report, the picture shows a profile of very, very heavy soil. And then most importantly, two factors, it talks about infiltration rate. And the infiltration rate should be two inches per hour. And as the report says, it's basically sealed off. So water is not moving through this profile. Secondly, it also talks about water holding capacity. That's this top layer that I'm talking about or that I showed you, this organic matter. Ideally, we would want the water holding capacity to be 25% so it can hold water while plant grows, but we also want it to move through. And as the report says, we're at 47%. And hence we have these you know, wet areas throughout the fairway. So what are we going to do about this? What can we do? The recommendation in the report says that we need to regularly aerate on the first fairway as well as light frequent sand top dressing. So we're doing a few different things here. The first thing that we've done is we've continued to add more drainage. We actually have a fair bit of drainage in this fairway, but when we saw that picture earlier, we have all these little pockets that hold fairways, or sorry, holds water in the fairways. So so we've got some drainage that we're continuing to work on, but now how do we fix this? So it's a two-fold approach. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to aerate on a regular basis. So we will bring out a deep tine aerator, which is a little bit different procedure than conventional aeration. Conventional aeration will only aerate approximately three inches in depth, where a deep tine or fracture aeration will actually hit into the soil and there'll be a bit of a kick action, which creates a void. So now we've got a place for where the water can uh, get down lower into the fairway. Secondly, what we need to do is through conventional aeration is when we have those core holes throughout the property, we need to fill those holes up with sand. So when we do our regular aeration in April and September, we'll be top dressing this fairway a little bit heavier in order to allow the water to move through that profile. And as we can see this profile that I have here, we have approximately an inch, inch and a quarter of thatch or organic matter. This acts like a sponge and it holds water. So what do we do with there? The final piece of the puzzle is we need to use our vertical mower, which slices into the ground and it'll physically remove this organic matter out of this fairway. When we run this verticut on this fairway, we will fill up with approximately three to four dump truck loads of organic matter or decaying plant material, which we will use for composting. Once we remove that organic matter, we're left with these tiny little slits in the fairway, and we can also fill up those channels with sand. So now we have little sand channels through our profile. So now we've got drainage infrastructure in here. We've deep tined aeration, we're vertical mowing, and one last piece that we can do use is an airway slicer where we slice into the ground and we create these voids that we can move water through the profile. 
So we'll start top dressing, or we have been top dressing every two to three weeks. We hope to continue this practice through till about May until we get into our warm golfing seasons. But you'll start to see this fairway evolve and improve. And by the time we get to next winter, we should have this fairway fixed or playing much better than what you currently see. Happy golfing, everyone. Thank you.